This year, at the automobile shows throughout the country, all former attendance records were broken. Hundreds of thousands of people examined the new automobiles, and many of them bought immediately. Pontiac salesmen took more orders and secured more prospects than in any previous year. This fact proves the splendid acceptance of Pontiac for 1941, because these people had bought Pontiac after they had seen and heard about all the other cars of the show. To give you a better idea of the tremendous appeal of the new Pontiac torpedo fleet, let's listen to this presentation of the new Pontiac, just as it was made at the automobile shows. And you'll understand why everyone who saw all the cars said, Pontiac is the chief of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, now I don't pretend to be a magician, but with the assistance of these young ladies, I'm going to show you some practical magic. Now I don't mean tricks, I mean unusual features, magical devices which work wonders in giving you better performance and greater comfort in the new 1941 Pontiac. For example, here we have Pontiac's new front grille, massive in design and beautifully chrome-plated. Now, you'd never dream that it concealed the parking lamps, would you? But here they are, out of the way, perfectly streamlined, and yet plainly visible when you need them. Here, I know you're big and handsome, but stop flirting with these young ladies until I finish telling the people about you. It is just such engineering magic as this that has made possible Pontiac's torpedo styling. The new design that means, well, more room, greater comfort for all the passengers, more economical operation, and ultra-smart appearance. And now I suppose you wonder why the young lady is standing up here. Well, this is a display of magic, but I'm not going to make her disappear. I'm not going to saw her in half. But I'd like her to tell us what she thinks of the new 1941 Pontiac. Well, I don't know very much about engines or gears or things like that. But I certainly like Pontiac styling. This silver streak has distinguished Pontiac for seven consecutive years. Makes Pontiac stand out from other cars. And it really blends into the new torpedo design. And I like the way they're streamlined, too. The fenders blend right into the hood. And everything is built in. The headlamps are built into the fenders, and the bumper brackets are concealed under this built-in stone shield. All of the door hinges, and even the gas tank filler cap are concealed. These new Pontiacs are big and roomy. They look graceful, too, with beautiful chrome trim to bring out the speed lines for a really smart appearance. Thank you, Miss Gillespie. And now for my next demonstration of Pontiac magic, I'd like you to look at the sides of the car you will notice the absence of outside running boards so that this part of the car is smartly streamlined. But as the young lady opens the door, you see the low curb height built-in running boards. Now, you don't see them when the doors are closed, but they're there when you need them, and mud and snow and ice cannot accumulate on them during bad weather. And now as the young ladies step into the car, I'd like you to note how low the step is, how wide the doors are, how easy it is to get in and out. And now here is some more Pontiac magic. As I utter the magic word, we're going to show you just how luxuriously comfortable these new Pontiacs really are. Are you all ready? Open sesame. Now, I wouldn't advise you to try this on your own car. It probably wouldn't work. But look at this front seat, a seating width of 60 inches. Are you comfortable, girls? I'll say we are. You wouldn't have a little extra room in there for a boyfriend, would you? There's always room for one more in a pothead. This wide seat leaves extra room for the driver to operate the car without disturbing the other passengers. Say, there is more room in here than even I imagined. Oh, by the way, Miss Thompson, would you show us how Pontiac safety shift gear control works? Why, this shift is practically automatic. All I have to do is to guide the lever into position with my fingertips. That's right, Miss Thompson. A booster spring attached to the transmission does most of the work. How about the clutch? Why, just the weight of my foot is all I need to push the clutch pedal all the way down. Yes, the clutch is also semi-automatic in action. 
After you start the clutch pedal down, the booster spring completes the job of disengaging your clutch. So that this year, well, Pontiac has just taken all of the work out of gear shifting. Say, I'd like to sit here all day, girls, but I've got to get back out front and tell the people about Pontiac's many other features. And the new 1941 Pontiacs are amazingly easy to handle on the road. The longer wheelbase, the wider rear tread, when combined with the action of the front stabilizer bar and the rear cushion levelators, gives the car greater stability. And Pontiac's true arc steering keeps the wheels in line as they rise and fall, so that they're not fighting each other and fighting the driver as you go around curves and pass other cars. You can drive a Pontiac all day long without that tired feeling. And now if I were a real magician, why I'd just summon my magic carpet and I'd show you how comfortably these new Pontiacs ride. But since I can't do that, I'm going to ask one of these young ladies to tell you about Pontiac's ride. Miss Callender, didn't I see you riding through the park in one of these new Pontiacs last night? Yes, and it was a wonderful drive. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and had the most marvelous eyes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Miss Callender. We want to know about Pontiac's ride. Oh. Well, I've ridden in a lot of cars, but I've never ridden in a car that rode as smoothly and quietly as that new Pontiac. Thank you very much, Miss Callender. That's just what we wanted to know. Now, the best way to find out how comfortable it is to ride in a new Pontiac is to drive one yourself. I think you'll agree that Pontiac engineers have used some sort of magic to give this beautiful new car the easiest ride you've ever experienced. Now, of course, our engineers would tell you that this ride is due to balanced weight, suspended from shock-proof knee-action units in front and duplex springs on the rear. They call it the triple cushioned ride. But anyway, we know it's easy to take. Why, everything about this new Pontiac is easy to take. And Pontiac's hydraulic brakes are easy, too. They bring you to a smooth, safe stop. And you don't have to stand on the brake pedal to make it take hold. And they're self-energizing, too. You just start the braking action, and the self-energizing feature does all the rest. But here is the greatest of all of Pontiac's magic, the economical Pontiac L-head engine. All moving parts are balanced so that it is quiet and smooth in all speeds. You have 90 horsepower in your six and 103 horsepower in your eight. And there's plenty of reserve power there to carry you over the steepest hill. And both the six and eight are economical on gas and oil. On Pontiac engines, everything has been made automatic. An automatic thermostat warms up the fuel mixture when starting. Another regulates the water temperature. An automatic choke control regulates the richness of the fuel mixture. And a vacuumatic spark control regulates the ignition, so that all you have to do is step on the starter and then step on the accelerator. But, Mr. Kimball, I think it is marvelous the way the Pontiac has designed their cars so that you may have your choice of a six or an eight in any model. That's right, Miss Gillespie. And the best part of it is that the eight costs you only $25 more than the six in any model. And now I'm going to ask two of the young ladies to step out of the car so that you can see the luxurious interior of Pontiac's new Fisher body. And now, Miss Callender, there are a number of Pontiac's interior features which we can't see very well from out here. Would you mind pointing them out for us? This interior is really beautiful. The color tones of the upholstery, the instrument panel, the steering wheel and the trim are all especially rich looking and yet they're soft and restful on the eye. The instruments and hardware are all chrome-plated, and inset with plastic so they really look like fine jewels. The cushions and seat backs have been thickly padded, like in a custom-built car. The coverings are well-fitted, so they have a smartly tailored appearance. Thank you, Miss Callender. Pontiac's unisteel bodies by Fisher are not only luxuriously beautiful, they are soundly constructed of one solid unit of steel for maximum strength and safety. Now, we do not advocate that you tear the upholstery out of your car to make your wife or your girlfriend a coat. 
But in order to show you how rich looking Pontiac's new upholstery really is, we have had the coat, which these young ladies are wearing, made up of exactly the same material that Pontiac uses in the seat cushions and seat backs. This first coat is made of candor cloth, a new type of upholstery fabric which combines all the fine features of mohair velvet with the best features of other types of upholstery fabric. Now this material is optional on the Deluxe Torpedo 6 and 8. Also optional on the Deluxe Torpedo and standard on all of our Streamliner Torpedoes is the beige corded wool cloth from which this coat is made. And now, exceptionally smart, is the wool cloth supplied on our Super Streamliners and custom models. I'd like you to note the twin pinstripe, which gives that material a two-toned effect. Now, I have mentioned only a few of Pontiac's many extra value features. Altogether, there have been 129 improvements made in the 1941 model. In addition, there are many extra value features which have given Pontiac a fine reputation for performance, economy, comfort, dependability, and easy handling over a period of 14 years. But greatest of all of Pontiac's features is Pontiac's reputation for trouble-free performance. Over two million Pontiacs have already been built. Most of them are still running, many after more than 100,000 miles of operation. Now, one of the principal reasons for Pontiac's trouble-free performance has been the proper lubrication of all moving parts. All bearings receive an adequate supply of oil, and that oil is kept freed from injurious gases through Pontiac's crankcase ventilation system. For 1941, Pontiac introduces still greater engine protection, a permanent, full-flow, built-in oil cleaner that removes all of the grit and dirt from all of the oil before it reaches the engine bearing. And here we're going to show you just how it works. The filings which this young lady is putting into the bowl have already passed through a 30 mesh screen, the type of cleaner commonly used. Now you will note that as the oil stream comes up through this tube, it is turned back until it strikes this shelf or baffle. Here it is turned again, flowing upward into the oil pump and onto the engine bearing. Now, as the oil stream strikes this baffle, it drops the grit and dirt, which is pushed off into the lower part of the bowl where it settles. Now, this filter is built right into the crankcase of the 1941 Pontiac. It doesn't have to be attached with tubes, which might leak or become clogged. There's no filter element to change, nothing more to buy. And best of all, all of the oil must pass through this cleaner before reaching the engine bearings. Now with the type of oil filters commonly used, they are attached to a bypass so that only part of the oil is actually clean. Grit and dirt can pass through your engine bearings time and again without being removed. With Pontiac's new oil cleaner, you can see why this couldn't possibly happen. To you, this means longer engine life, longer trouble-free performance, with a minimum of upkeep expense. Now that we have shown you some of our magic, we cordially invite you to look over the three new series of cars which comprise our Pontiac Torpedo Fleet for 1941. The Custom Torpedo, the Streamliner Torpedo, and the Deluxe Torpedo. And don't forget, on all models, including the low price Deluxe, you may have your choice of the new economical 90 horsepower six-cylinder engine or the improved 103 horsepower 8-cylinder engine. Thank you.